Hello Aries, welcome back to my channel. This is a general message for the week of the 21st until the 27th. Remember these in general, if you'd like a personal reading with me, that information is in the description box down below. If you'd like to donate to my channel, that information is in the link below. And for if you find my messages useful and can help other people on their life path, please do share them. Let's get started and let's see. Let's see what's coming on for this week for um, Aries. This card just wanted to really plop right over. So I'm going to go ahead and just take it right away. Right away. This is a new earth that is happening. Opportunity knocks. Go for it. So this is, again, I'm going to say this. There's many possibilities and there's lifetimes that you have already lived, right? And this is looking at infinite possibilities that are around you. There's opportunities for you everywhere if you would just look. Look into that. Look into it for yourself and really see that you're here to have one experience after another here. So Right now, Aries, it is saying that there's something that is presenting itself and it's asking you to go for it. It's asking you not to hold back. The next card out would be uh, learn to let go. So letting go of the things that don't serve you, letting go of old habits, letting go of old um, ideas, letting go of old, uh, the people that could be holding you back, letting go of old belief systems. And the opportunity right now is for you to move forward. It is about you seeking new knowledge with the knowledge card. So this is saying, you know, look at other things. There is many other things that you are here to do. What is it that you're here to do? What is it that you're not looking at? What is it that you're still hanging on to with the letting go card? This is when you understand that life is constantly changing, Aries. So when you understand that life is constantly changing and nothing ever stays the same, people come, people go. Um, jobs come, jobs go. Ideas come, ideas go. And this is when we really it's asking you to let go of anything that is unhealthy unhealthy habits unhealthy relationships unrewarding um, jobs creating a healthier um, lifestyle for yourself so whatever that was unhealthy attachments or bond to anything something or someone of the past any ideas any behaviors it's asking you to let it go it's asking you to find yourself a newfound freedom and a spiritual growth in regards to new ideas new ways of doing things so Aries there's parts of you that needs to transform there's a letting go of an old version of self so you can create a new version of self what does this new earth look like to you what are your new experiences this is huge so you want to seek that you want to seek it by letting go by the old version of you by the experiences that are unhealthy for you so really look at that you know are you missing out on opportunities by by doing the same things, by hanging on to things that are not healthy for this new version, this new earth, you know, this thing that you're building for yourself, you know, what is your higher self doing? What is this other version of you wanting from you at this time, okay? So we do have the two cards that fell out and I will tell this one over. So let's see, we do have nine of Gabrielle. So that's the nine of wands, which is telling you to be persistent. And it's, these are your own cards. We have the nine of Gabrielle as well. So it says confident, enthusiastic, courageous, and charismatic. Yes, that would be going towards these opportunities. Take time to take action. A uh, great passion for a cause instinctively knowing just what to do and yeah what to do and as you're seeing it is pointing towards the letting go and here we have stayed determined and move forward be prepared for any possibilities environmental activism so yeah these are new possibilities don't give up on yourself don't give up on um, not knowing yourself up until this point of what your future self is and this is saying you're taking charge there's going to be a rush of information that does come and says you know what do you want to experience next again all these are other experiences everything's that's made in the bubble you know which one do you want to pop open which one do you want to experience now and just let go anything that just no longer serves you and really and trust your own intuition with the high priestess and you could be dealing also with a Pisces. So this is saying powerful psychic insights, reflection and meditation that provides valuable information, be at peace. So this is where we go within. This is having that book of knowledge. This is in asking our higher self, what is it that I want to experience and be still within yourself into what higher self, where would you like me to take action on next? Because I'm not giving up on these other opportunities is the message here. So really trusting yourself, trusting your intuition, 
going within that silent space that's within you and having that epiphany in regards to the direction of the things that you are to let go of and the things that you are to bring knowledge in. This is that. Look at that. It's pointing towards seeking knowledge. So the high priestess is up, as above, so below. Heaven and earth, it is all connected. It's all one. But you have to come into that place of great clarity within your own intuitive self. So really go within and ask your higher self, you know, what, what, what life are we living? What are some opportunities here that I may be missing? We have the world. Yeah, there's something here for you to completely complete. Close out a chapter of your life. Close out so you can now step into this new version of yourself. The world is very worldly. It's also, again, seeking knowledge about many things, right? So you could be dabbling into many things too with the world card. We have the Mother of Cups. Again, some of you could be also having Cancer, Pisces Scorpio around you here that somebody is also your world. This is another message here. But again, Mother of Cups is very intuitive along here with the Four of Swords. So this is resting, meditating, meditating so you can open up the psychic abilities here with the High Priestess. So this is expansion of the third eye. It comes through silent meditation, through contemplation, to really resting and letting go of the noise, letting go of the chatter of the mind and really being still, coming to that place of stillness as we're seeing. So the High Priestess can reveal itself to you with the things that want to reveal, which is the Mother of Cups. You know, this is um, intuition, compassion, and really nurturing yourself, nurturing your own dreams, nurturing your own insights, absolutely divine messages here that are coming out here for you. So this is beautiful. And here we do want to complete. What you want to complete is things of the past, the things that you're not willing to let go of with the letting go. Of. You know, it's the final card of the deck. And when these two come out, it's saying that the journey of the major arcana here is you're at the end of things you're completing. So, you know, what you want to do is now is to really experience the energy of what it's like to close out chapters of your life. And really, it's time for you to now look at the things that you need, the things that you want to achieve, the things that you want to experience. And now it's time for you to really understand that. And it's un understanding that you're already whole. So the world is a card of also um, feeling wholeness. So this is saying, you know, being whole. Focus on the image on this card. And then as you do, you're looking at how we're all connected. You know, what does it feel like? to have any blocks of the past removed. What is these sensations feel like? So it's asking you, you know, to really look at the way that you look at what wholeness is within you. Do you feel like you're lacking something? So this is saying it's time for meditation and contemplation. Look, the card underneath that is death. Yeah, death of the past. It's time Aries for you to experience things that are new and transform yourself to bring transformation into your life through contemplation and meditation and rest to allow yourself to expand into this new version of you. Look at this. New truth, new clarity, new understanding, new opportunity. One more time, the Ace of Pentacles is about newness. It's about opportunities and something that you're to, it's like focusing yourself. This is something that comes to you and you are to put the time, you know, uh, the action that it takes, you know, this is having focus intent in regards to that. So the Seven of Pentacles, he is becoming a master at his skills. The so Seven of Pentacles is like, here's an opportunity and I'm going to take it, right? This is in, and also letting go of needing that thought of working hard in life. That's not what this is saying. This is just having very much focus focus clarity into what is it that you want to create so having truth and clarity into scripting what kind of work do you want to do what kind of what is safety to you what is security to you what is abundance to you and these cards are asking you to have clarity with that in regards to your life in regards to your world what is it that you want to create and this is really using your feelings and emotions in creating that which you desire so let's go with this card and we do have and some of you could be dealing with a cancer. We have, there's too many cards here, but so this is change. Charge ahead with confidence. Stay strong and focused. So yeah, this is in regards to movement. And then look at that. You, some of you could be coming into a new relationship as well. We have love surrounds all your connections. Move forward positively in all areas of your life. So this is really uh, coming into that place because we have the red roses and so forth. And then I have the card of unity. A time of divine understanding, renewal, peace, and hope. 
you radiate and attract great love. So some of you could be coming into new love as you let go of the past, as you let go of old habits, as you let go of unhealthy thinking, unhealthy people, unhealthy addictive things, anything of that nature with a letting go card. And then it says your heart desire is ready to come true yes but it's by not look at all these hearts yes absolutely areas you know what is in your heart what is it that you want to manifest what is it that you want to create now but first you must let go of any habits of the past and recognize it's time for a new version of you to shine and to come true let's grab a couple cards here if you're not a subscriber tap the button and hit the bell let's see we have we have this card that comes out and it says, uh, Felix, Felixius, sorry if I'm not saying that right, power symbol to create lucky serendipitous events. Absolutely. One more time. And then the labyrinth, which says transition to a higher level of being, raising your energetic vibration, enlightenment. And we clearly seeing that it's time, it's time Aries for you to really raise your vibration into one that is higher into one that is light body in order to really experience love really experience life on a whole new level until next time sending you much love much light namaste